This is Awkward Occurrence with Awkward Entertainment. So this is titled, Back to the Beginning, In the Beginning. All right. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and divided that light from darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made a firmament and divided the waters, which were, which were under the firmament from the waters, which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. All right, we went back to the beginning. We went back to the beginning there. Now tell me, why are we going back to the beginning of the Summer Wells case? So let's fast forward from Genesis 1. All praise to Jesus Christ. Um, fast forward from day one when the earth was made, the heavens, the firmament, to now. Over, what, 4,000 years later, we're talking about summer whales. So, back to the beginning of summer whales. Right. Let's get ready for this show. Let's get ready for this show. Where's my artwork? Dun -dun 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 -dun. So, back to the beginning we go. 5-year-old Summer Wells goes missing, I believe, June 15th from her home in Tennessee on Ben Hill Road. A little after 6 p.m., her mother calls the police to report her daughter is not in the house. Candace Blythe states, this is the main story we have now, Candace Blythe states, she was outside with her five-year-old daughter and her grandmother, Grandis Bly, and they were planting flowers in this pot. She then walked Summer over to the residence. Let me go get the resident photo. She then walked Summer over to the residence watched her go inside, left back out to help her mother with her knee brace. So Candace Bly's mother stays on the property with the Wells family in that white trailer you see in the picture. It's, it, let me enlarge it. There's a white trailer on the right-hand corner side. So they were out on that trailer porch. Candace's grandmother, or Grandis, was sitting down. Candace was leaning over helping her mother with her knee brace, or she was sitting next to her, helping her mother with her knee brace. The story we were given is someone came up through the dog trail on, what well, not Ben Hill Road. Well, that's Ben Hill Road. Oh, I forgot that quick. Anyway, someone came up through a dog trail on a property, went into the basement, and took summer. The mother claimed she went back to the house to call for Summer in the basement and Summer didn't answer. So that's a part of back to the beginning. What else happened in the beginning of this case? Um, the father comes out, he gives a few interviews. He states his theory, which his theory is, that is Ben Hill Road, right? His theory is a car parked on Ben Hill Road came up the dog path into the backyard, went into the basement, and somehow knew someone was going to be in the basement 
and took her. Or a, a car came up that hill, parked on Ben Hill, and lured Summer away from the yard. I don't know what they used to lure her away, but they lured her away. Back to the beginning. Um, the Wells family make a YouTube channel. They, they make buddies with certain creators on YouTube. They start doing shows. During these shows, they are seen, they act belligerent. They are seen as belligerent. They're cussing. They're making accusations against one another. That being Donald Wells when he's told his wife, She's going to jail because he has all the alibis. He has seven alibis. That whole debacle of an interview. <laughs> so back to the beginning, Donald Wells, Candace Blah, they do online interviews for certain YouTube creators. They do a few TV interviews explaining what happened that day. Uh, a bunch of more drama come out. As usual in these cases, Grandis supposedly left some test messages for people on the internet to see. So the grandmother tested somebody. Those test messages got released on social media. Mysteriously, a creator got a hold of those test messages and released them. Um, Candice Blah allegedly stated to a YouTuber. Donald Wells had been arrested or Cornbread Mafia came and got him. I believe he had been arrested. What, what else? Some more rumors came out. Some more speculation came out. Some more drama came out. Um, Donald Wells was suspected of sleeping, suspected of sleeping with his daughter, having an inappropriate, inappropriate relationship with his daughter. Let's see. Candace Bly supposedly, allegedly, has an inappropriate relationship with Hunter, the friend of the family, the 15-year-old friend of the family, Hunter, who she's friend with the mother named Allie, or they were friends. They're enemies right now. I guess they're enemies. They don't like each other. I think they do like each other because they went swimming together. Did Allie, Hunter's mom, go that day swimming? Did she go that day? Maybe she was at home. I may have Hunter's interview confused. Back to the beginning. This family gets up for the day. Donald Wells goes to work. Candace takes her grandmother, takes Summer with her to the hospital so the grandmother could get her knee checked out. One of the boys in the family had kicked the grandmother in the knee, so I guess a few days later, it's, it was hurting, and this is the day we're at now. They go to the hospital. They leave the grandmother at the hospital, Candace, the in Summer Wells. They then go to Candace's friend house, Allie. While Candace is at Allie's house, Hunter comes into the picture. Hunter asks to go with Candace to the swimming hole and to go pick up Candace's grandmother. Allie agrees. I don't know if there was smoking pot or drinking beer at Allie's house. I don't know what Candace does at Allie's house. Don't, don't know. Let's continue. So they leave Allie's house. Hunter is with them. Did Grandma go to the swimming hole? I don't even know. So let's... Let's continue. So they leave. They supposedly they go get grandma. They go to try to go get a prescription filled. Grandma gets a prescription from the hospital. They go to the pharmacy to get it filled. The pharmacy said you gotta wait. They go to a swimming hole. They start swimming around. Um, drinks are being exchanged. People are drinking. I don't know where the grandmother is. Allegedly, hunt. Allegedly, Summer went underwater. Hunter had to go and save her. Fast forward, everybody's leaving a swimming hole. They're going to go get the medication. They're back home now. And that's when 
some of where it goes missing. But let's continue back to the beginning. What else can we say about the beginning? More speculation, more rumors, more drama. This case has a lot of drama. It's a, a lot of drama, just like any case, I guess. A lot of speculation. <laughs> what am I missing? Besides, I stated Candace and Donald Wells play pranks on people. They like to host people. There were reports of a body being found on Jody Sue's property that was made by Candace to a YouTuber named Voices Behind the Wall. Those reports turned out to be false. And somebody got made to look stupid, I guess. That's that's about it. There was no body. It said police were searching the pond on Jordy Sue's property for summer. The pond. They searched another pond last week out in the wilderness and found nothing. Which makes me think they're going to find Summer Wells body in water. If she's ever found, that is. Um, that's it for Back to the Beginning. What else can we say about Back to the Beginning? June, Summer goes missing. Early July, Summer's parents does interviews. In July, the Wells family gets on YouTube. They do interviews with certain creators. They put themselves in the limelight. More rumors come out. Robin Lane is seen as the suspect because she's close to the family. Video of the church come out. Robin seen holding Summer Wells. She seemed to have a close relationship. People speculate where well, Robin kidnapped Summer because she wanted to protect Summer. <laughs> then this character named Voices Behind the Wall speculates Robin kidnapped Summer because Robin didn't want to sacrifice her own daughter. <laughs> That's If you can find that live stream I'm paraphrasing what she said, but that's exactly what she said. The crazy things some of these people say in this case. <laughs> All right, leave your comments. What else? Back to the beginning. People said the grandmother, the grandmother knows where Summer is. I don't, I don't know. I doubt the grandmother knows where Summer is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play my video, and I would think of some more back to the beginning stories. This is ridiculous. Hit up the Cash App. The link is in the description below. Don't be cheap. Don't be a Scrooge. Don't be a Grinch. Hit up the Cash App. <laughs> Well, the father of missing Hawkins County five-year-old Summer Wells is now addressing his daughter's disappearance. The investigation into her whereabouts and social media rumors hindering search efforts. New at five for the first time in months, Donald Wells spoke with Ansley Dan. So yes, back to the beginning. Social media rumors somehow hinder search efforts, which is impossible. <laughs> How does a rumor hinder you, the police, from going out? and walking looking for summer it doesn't hinder you how does social media rumors hinder you detectives from coming up with theories and leads in a summer wells case it, it doesn't hinder them so just forget about social media and do your jobs that's how it's supposed to be done right right they come up with theories they go out and try to get leads to verify those theories right 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 so you don't need social media right to hinder anything because you hinder yourself if this case comes to be a cold case that's a hindrance and it won't be because of social media it'll be because well detectives couldn't find any leads as to where summer wells is so Absolutely nothing. Absolutely.
absolutely nothing at all. Don Wells has a boss never give up faith in me, and uh, so I'm still here. In the months since, he's tried to catch up with work while also looking for summer. Every once in a while, I call TBI and talk to one specific person, and you know, he tells me they're still checking on a lot of things and stuff, and he says. You know, with all this stuff that's happened on social media, it's just bogged them down. As the TBI has combed <laughs> through more than a... Oh, hold on. All you have to do is take a ladder rack off or whatever and... Let's play that again. You know, it don't take much. Uh, with all this stuff that's happened on social media, it just bogged them well, down. The father of missing Hawkins... County, yeah, so you got to be a complete idiot to believe social media bogs down investigation and work. Media you got to be a complete idiot. Efforts. New at five for the first time in months, Donald Wells spoke with Ansley Daniels. <laughs> Let me fast forward. I don't need to fast forward. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Don Wells hasn't seen his daughter since June 15th. My boss never give up faith in me. And uh, so I'm still here. In the months since, he's tried to catch up with work while also looking for... So if they don't want social media bogging down their work, then maybe Donald Wells' cousin, alleged cousin. So back to the beginning, people claim, people make a claim that Ronnie Lawson is Donald Wells' cousin. So if they don't want people bogging down their case or whatever the term they use, just release information about who's been ruled out as a suspect. Just come on T and or release a statement on Twitter and verify that no, this didn't happen. No, that didn't happen. That's that's all they really have to do. And then again, they don't have to do that. They just have to do their jobs and leave people alone on social media. That's all they have to do. It's not worry about what people on social media say because that doesn't hinder their job in one way or another it does not summer every once in a while i call tbi and talk to one specific person and you know he tells me they're still checking on a lot of things and stuff and he says you know with all this stuff that's happened on social media it's just bogged them down as the tbi has come and mr wells himself is a part of all the stuff that happens on social media he gets on social media he argues with streamers and he doesn't give speculation himself, but he argues with streamers. <laughs> he comes on drunk and just argues. Let's continue. You, you guys know what's going on in this case. Let's continue. More than a thousand tips, there have been no credible leads on where his five-year-old could be. And authorities are still looking for a potential witness that was driving a red or maroon Toyota truck with a full bed ladder rack. That truck was seen in the area around the time Summer disappeared. Now, Don says he's concerned that truck is no longer in the area or could have been altered. They've had plenty of time to change everything, you know, a lot of things. Get rid of the truck, change up the appearance of it. Or, you know, all you have to do is take the ladder rack off or whatever, and, you know, it don't take much. A private investigation company is also now assisting. They're there for us. They're good people. Uh, they're just wanting to help find Summer, and that's their number one goal. Don says the social media frenzy that's hindered search efforts is also impacting his family. It's been horrific. Uh, like I say, you know, on top of our daughter being abducted, you know, we turned to social media, which was hoping that that could help us find our daughter. And everybody come up, you know, theorizing and all kind of stuff. It just, it just got really bad. Despite everything. And you already knew about that, Mr. Wells, that social media theorized. You already, you already knew that. Help find your daughter, but you know, social media theorized. Which may help find your daughter because detectives can use some of the theories and go get leads for they may not have leads or theories of their own so they may come on social media to help find theories and go get leads for that doesn't hinder anything because a detective comes on social media looking for theories i mean he doesn't have to come on social media they can just figure out their own theories by doing the footwork 
that they always have done since police have been, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Just police can do what they always have been doing <laughs> since they were integrated into society a uh, hundred years ago. How about that? That sounds right. All right. He says they're trying to keep faith that Summer will be found. Are you losing hope? Well, losing hope. Okay, that's enough of that one. Anything else? Anything else? For the first time in weeks, we are hearing from the TBI about the investigation into the disappearance of five-year-old Summer Wells. It. It's been more than three months since the little girl went missing from her Hawkins County home. And News Channel 5's Aaron Kentrell joins us live from the TBI's headquarters with more this morning. And Aaron, what are the agents saying about the case? Do they have an update? Well, Amy, unfortunately, they say they have more questions than answers at this point. And right now, Summer Wells is still missing. Okay, but that's nothing. <laughs> no, that's about it, people. Back to the beginning, the swimming hole. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> I know I made a video titled Rednecks. Someone said they're not rednecks. Well, yeah, they call themselves rednecks. For rednecks, hillbillies, it's all the same to me. Uh. Back to the beginning, summer was swimming in a swimming hole. There's really nothing else. There's really nothing else. I don't see the point of everybody doing a Back to the Beginning series. <laughs> People were doing Back to the Beginning series last week, last month, so hey, whatever. <laughs> Let me do my plug. Let me get my plug. Let me get my thumbnail, to be honest. Let me get my thumbnail. It's a redneck life for us. It's a redneck life for us. How we get there. How we get there. It's a redneck life for us. It's a redneck life for us. How to say we get there. It's a redneck life for us. It's a redneck life for us. We get say we get it's a redneck life for us. It's a redneck life for us. All right, that is it. Check out the cash app. On the right. <laughs> this is been Awkward Occurrence for Awkward Entertainment. And this has been your in the beginning video. I will see you in the next video.